During the First Crusade, the armies of Europe seized Jerusalem. Peasant and lord alike fled to the Holy Land in search of fortune or salvation. Nine poor knights joined forces to protect the countless pilgrims in Outremer. For nearly two centuries, the brotherhood they started grew in power and wealth. Its members were at the thick of every battle. They were called the Knights Templar. This is the story of the Holy Grail, of how it was found and how it was lost. This is also my story and the story of the Knights Templar, of what we did and why. To this day, I keep asking myself, why was such power given to men? Did we deserve it? The path is clear now. I know what to do. You who come after me can tell if I was right or wrong. There is no one in sight. Let's go. The chateau over there. Do you bring us the money? We bring you no money. We bring you swords. What's going on here? I do not know. We must find the Grand Master. He might be in danger. Agreed. There is an estate down the road. Let's check it out. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. Grand Master. Killian! It warms my heart to see you. What is going on here? I came to Cyprus to meet the French king's messenger. The Antioch butchers captured him. I don't know how. They want a ransom. Ransom? From the order? Absurd. Yes, we do not negotiate with marauders. I made it clear to them. The butchers? They show some guts to come here. Who are they? They're scum. Alive for far too long. We must free the messenger, brothers. Grand Master, we will deal with those butchers alone. Your life is too valuable to risk it. This is not a battle. You are right, Kellyan. I know these are the rules of the Order. Tell me about you. What brings you here? At long last, my search is near its end, Grand Master. We are going east for the Holy Grail to Ascalon and Guy de Belin. The Grail? Your quest is of utmost importance for the Order. I need your blessing. May God bless you on your journey. I will pray for your success. We will talk more when you two return with the French messenger. Great! You'll only bring more trouble, Templars. Thank you and all that. Now get lost. You ought to show more humility. The Lord sent you help in time of need. If there were no Templars on the island, the bandits wouldn't come here. If there were no Templars, the bandits would still come for you eventually. Who would save your life then? Thank you, my lord. What happened? They came, armed to the teeth. Forced us inside, locked us in, and set our house on fire. What should we do now? We have nowhere to live. Can you spare a coin, sire? We're monks, sworn to poverty. No gold. Pray for the order to come to Cyprus. That would bring jobs and food in plenty. Thank you, sire. We will pray for your arrival. It's high time you showed up. 
Are you well, my lady? Far better than the dead butchers, wouldn't you agree? That's a surprise. The king sends us a woman and the butchers capture her. Oh, it was very kind of them to capture me at my request. You mean, you wanted all this? I was in the Outremer. The Saracens were minutes away and the butchers had a ship. Bold move. I like it. I told them they could get a good ransom for me. You did the rest, knights in shining armor. Lady Isabel, Duchess of Valois. A pleasure. What news is worth the trouble? A Saracen army has taken the de Belin estate. Hmm. Guy de Belin. Dead. Defending his mansion as if it were worth it. And you just happened to be in the vicinity. I had news of his daughter, Marie. She's being held by the Dominican Inquisition. The daughter of a great Templar? Yes. Charged her with heresy and witchcraft, as a matter of fact. Where is she? Ah, the right question. She is in the secluded Abbey of Saint-Jacques. They say some beast lurks in the nearby woods. A curse she brought on them, no doubt. The Inquisition has closed the Abbey. Alarming news indeed. More important than you understand, I fear. Lead the way to your Grand Master, please. Guy Berlin is dead. We might lose the secret of Ascalon. We must talk to his daughter, Marie. She might help. Which means breaking into that abbey. We have to. We need to leave Cyprus immediately. Let's talk to the Grand Master. Take a full squadron of knights. No, the Order stays out of this. The Templars cannot attack the Church. We'll do it ourselves. Good. No point in waiting for a farewell party, then. We went to search the Abbey of St. Jacques, sheltered far from the rest of the world, in the misty depths of an ancient forest. On our way there, we overheard whispered rumors of executions, heresy, and a murdering beast. With the Inquisition about, we must tread carefully. Bridges down! Our options are limited, it seems. Do you expect an ambush? I certainly hope for one. Get off my land! You church toughs can't make me leave. Beast and swords and all! Don't push it. I'm not having a good day. Master, those are Templar Knights! They're not the Inquisition! But there's still the church. See the cross? The boy is right. We are not the Inquisition. We want to see this beast. I don't buy them fairy tales. Go to the tavern. The cowards there hide and pray, speaking of beasts and curses. I'm staying right here. No one will make me leave my home. Follow the road. You can't miss it. It's called the Forest King. Unlucky wretch. Happens when you don't have a weapon. He was killed with something like a giant mace. That rules out the war dogs. Could be our beast. Welcome, Templars. Have you seen the beast? Is it near? No, we haven't. Though we are looking for it. You're mad! Be glad you're safe and sound here. We can take care of ourselves. Your swords are useless. Only faith can save us. The beast slaughters anyone in sight! The Inquisition is your only salvation. You mean God. God is our salvation. Don't worry, we'll deal with that beast. So said the other Templar. He never returned. What Templar? The beast! Oh my god! What happened? It killed my master! Where? By the lodge! Please help! Roland, let's go. May the Lord forgive the knights and accept their souls. God 
have mercy on their souls. A huge weapon killed that one. Pity he was brave. What creature can do that? Let's look around for clues. Do you Grim still think the position is right? Thank you. No need to thank us, Father. Nice dogs. Who set them on you? I don't know. I have to go. You are safe now. What are you running from? Things in the Abbey have changed. The screams from the crypt. They send chills down my spine. Some books are missing, too. Ah, oh, great. Books? What books? Every parchment on the Holy Lands is gone. I stole the last one. You stole it? I wanted to save it. It's a sin, I know. I hid it in the chest. Take it, please. They kill it? Nah, no man stands a chance against a beast. You're wrong. No monster stands a chance against our swords. You are safe now. The beast is dead. God bless. Boy, fetch me grandfather's blade. It's an old but trusty sword. You take it. You don't have to repay us. The blade just rusts here. It will do good in your hands. You said another Templar came by. Yeah, heard of our curse, he said. Came to help, he said. No one's seen him ever since. I see. How can we reach the Abbey? Follow the road to the dock. Tell the monks about the beast. <laughs> I'd want to see the look on their faces. Who sent you? Nobody. By the grace of God, spare me! My brother will kill you. Don't try him. Uh, it was the one-eyed man. He wanted anyone on this road dead. We don't need him anymore. Roland, let him be. He said the Lord's name in vain. God has mercy on his soul. Meet our Templar brother. The dogs didn't kill him. It was the arrows. Figures? Hey, that's a good shield. Show some respect. A knight lies here. He's dead and we're not. The shield may help you. It didn't help him. Rest in peace, brother. Good day, brothers. The Abbey is closed. We need to go to the island. Who is in charge? Brother Lorenzo is in charge of this sanctuary. He will not heed you welcome. We're happy to see you, too. Please, brothers. A terrible curse haunts these woods. Brother Lorenzo has taken a vow to pray day and night until the curse is lifted. No outsiders. Why am I not surprised? We demand to speak to Brother Lorenzo. The Sanctuary is not a place for warriors with swords. Our swords have slain the beast, lifted the curse off this place in a way. Wonderful news. Praise God. And thank the Templars. Very well. Take the boat to the Abbey and inform Brother Lorenzo of this miracle. Truly, the Lord works in wondrous ways. At last, we are in the Abbey of St. Jacques where we were told a certain Marie de Bellin was being held against her will. As praying Dominican monks did their best to ignore us, I wondered whether this was because we were intruding on their seclusion or because they had something to hide. This is a sanctuary. Do not draw your weapon here. I will do my best. Let's find this brother Lorenzo. I 
which is the greater sin? To torture a man's body to save his soul, or to stand idle while the devil consumes him? If you, the righteous, do not oppose the devil, who will? Evil still lives, but now the Inquisition stands against it. I can see the purifying flames. I can see a future free of the devil. I can see salvation for us all. God bless you all. Amen. What brings you here, Templar brothers? News, Father. We slayed the beast that hunted your flock. Praise the Lord. Your deed will be well remembered by the Inquisition. We seek a friend, Marie de Balin. Alas, the Abbey is closed to women. We'll look round anyway. She might be here. Mistakes happen. The Inquisition makes no mistakes. There is nothing for you here. Father, the idiot monk at the docks led the two Templars into the Abbey. I know, my son. They spoke to me. They seek the witch girl. Let me have them. They killed the beast! No, we can't deal with them in the open. Warn the men below, just in case. What if they find the dungeons? Kill the prisoners. All of them. Then, do as you like. Yes, father. With pleasure. Dibelin. The one and only? Are you here to rescue me or someone else? We're here for you. I'm so glad to hear it. They kept me under close watch. I couldn't escape without help. That monster, Isaiah, is nearby. I doubt we can just leave unnoticed. Good. I'd like him to notice us. Well, don't just stand there. Use the lever in the hallway to open my cell. That was the last one. No, it was not. Look. On your knees, Templars. I want to see you pray. You won't. You'll die here. <laughs> There's no way out. There's always a way. Killian, go. I'll hold them. I'll stay with you, Roland. No! Save Marie! Get her out! Kill them. Kill them all. Run, you fools! Solid steel. We're trapped. Luckily for you, I have a key. Lady Isabel. After all, it's only fair to return the favor. It wasn't hard to figure out where you went. Roland stayed behind. Don't think of going back. He did what he had to do so that we can escape. Ah, the noble sacrifice. Pity, I rather liked him. I must save him. He's dead. If he was alive, he'd have caught up with us by now. Don't throw away Roland's sacrifice. Forgive me, brother. I will avenge you. This I promise. Marie, this goes deeper than I thought. The Inquisition schemes against the Templar Order. We must see the Grand Master. In the year of our Lord's Incarnation, 1291, we honor our brother in arms, our kin in faith, Roland de Saint-Omer. He lost his life while battling for justice in God's name. He fought the good fight and fell victim to our enemy. For make no mistake, our enemy is not a misguided monk from the Holy Inquisition. <laughs> 
or the infidels in the east, or the robbers on the roads, or sinners in the cities. Our enemy is the devil. He can see everywhere. He can touch everyone. The devil is the enemy who assaults you. The devil is every obstacle you encounter. He will rob you of your deepest love. He will tempt you with your deepest desire. Make no mistake. Our enemy is the devil. Amen. It is God's will that the two of you continue this journey together. As our ship approached Acre, I thought about the generations of crusaders who paid in blood so that we can now hold this one town. It was our last bastion, all that remained from the once glorious Christian kingdom in the Holy Lands. We were greeted by the smell of soot and the sound of battle raging in the streets. Burning! Acre is burning! The Saracens are inside the city. To battle! Where are the reinforcements? What is going on here? We are under siege. The Saracens have broken through. Report to the Knight Commander. Tell him how many ships are coming. We must leave at once, Kellyan. No, Marie. They need help. Warriors of Christ, I rejoice in this day of death. Death today gives us the kingdom of heaven. Be without fear in the face of your enemies. Safeguard the helpless with your last breath. That is your oath. Give your life for it. God grants eternal salvation. God grants victory. Yeah, right. God grants victory to the stronger army, usually. He is lifting their spirits, giving them hope in this battle. You know how many times I've heard that? Look, the knight over there is likely to be the one in charge. I am Abdul Yasu, commander of the defense of Acre. Where are the reinforcements, brother? No reinforcements, just us. In the name of Christ! The enemy is in the city, but their numbers are still few. They use the diversion to open the main gate. I need it closed. We'll do it. Really? We'll just do it? Yes, we will. Godspeed. Help! They're attacking the walls! Just use the siege engines! They're dead! The engineers! All dead! It is up to us, then. You're ready to die here, right? Right. Knew it. Templar. This looks like an all-out attack. Now is the time to leave the city! No. The trebuchets seem to be working. We can stop the attack with them. Do you really know how to use this thing? It is easy. Each of us can operate one trebuchet. Well done. We can't fight your battle anymore. We have to leave. She is right, brother. We have our mission. I need you for one final task. Destroy the three trebuchets in the enemy camp. Just that. Nothing else. Otherwise, this city will fall by tomorrow. We will do our best. Thank you. The tunnels below Acre exit near the enemy camp. The Saracens don't know about them. The element of surprise will be on your side. As we descended into the tunnels, the sounds of battle above us were replaced by the squeaking of rodents and an ominous mechanical clicking and grinding telling us to stay on our toes. Whatever dangers awaited us in the dark, we had to reach the exit behind enemy lines or the city of Acre was doomed. The Tunnels of Acre they were catacombs once. Then the Templars sealed them off. When? Why? Long time ago. Nobody says why. Guess we'll find out. Sacred be thy name, brother, for your life was given for the just cause of the Order. Over there, 
It must be the exit. Good. See? Those rats weren't so scary. Not listening. Figures. The tunnels led us to the devastated Old Town, right in the middle of the Saracen battle camp. Our objective was clear. Find and destroy the enemy trebuchets before they brought down the walls of Acre. We were surrounded by enemies. We had to tread with caution. The trebuchets must be ahead. Well guarded, of course. Surprised? No, just cautious. We have to be careful. Now what? Kill them? Don't kill them? Let's make some noise. What? Those rich bastards had too much fun last night. Heh! <laughs> and they call themselves knights! <laughs> I'd love to see them fight now, in the state they must be in. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hmm. Let's see if they can put up a fight. Now what? We sneak from behind and kill them all, one by one? Before they reach the walls, of course. You are missing the bigger picture, I'm afraid. Well, I can see far enough to count the enemy numbers. Which are all still in the trebuchet's range. This trebuchet's range. This is it. No more trebuchets left. We just saved the city. How are we supposed to save ourselves? There is certainly no going back. We need another way around. Do you see what I see? The Cardinal. They captured him. Not for long. My lord, thank you. It would have been my end if not for you. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I came here to negotiate a truce. Like hell. He wanted every Christian to lay down his life in battle. Then the Saracen captured me. I was ready to face my fate. My death would inspire our warriors. The Saracens do not kill prisoners. Not often, I mean. Please, Marie, this is enough. Your Eminence, we will get you to the tunnels in safety. Into the tunnels, quick! They'll follow us. We will lead them straight into Acre. They won't. We will collapse the passage after you. Aren't you coming with me? Acre needs you. We cannot come. We have another mission. What mission could be more important than to help defend the last Christian city in the Holy Lands? We are on the search for the Holy Grail, Your Eminence. I see. Does God want us to find the Grail, I wonder? Is man ready for its power? I doubt it. Yet it is your quest, not mine. May God bless you for what you did today for the defenders of Acre. The battle for Acre was over, and the fortress still stood, at least for the time being. We returned to our quest. The trail of the Grail led us to the ruined city of Ascalon. During its turbulent history, Ascalon was conquered many times, only to be ultimately raised upon orders from the Mamluk Sultan. We expected to find merely old ruins and abandoned buildings, but we were wrong. This is not the Ascalon I remember. I wonder what lies ahead. The citadel still stands, and that's where we're headed. Last thing I heard, the town itself is deserted. Not a soul left. Who's that guy over there? This town belongs to the Hashishin now. You have no business here. Go away, infidels! <laughs> Why does it always come down to religion? What? You are a Christian! A Templar! Why did you help me? First of all, because I am a human being. He won't believe it, but he's sworn to protect the helpless. Then help us, noble sire. The Hashishin kill everyone. Why? 
You hand over your gold or your life, they say. They want us out of town, out of our homes. We'll see about that. They lock some poor men in houses around town to burn them alive. Show us the houses. Yes, I will also have the gates opened for you. Though you must stay close, or I am as good as dead. You know, I'm proud of you, helping the helpless and all. You're teasing me again, aren't you? Oh, Lord, and me lady, we should hurry. Two more houses have been set on fire. You helped us. How can we help you? We need to get into the old citadel. And there is little I can do, friends. Follow the road from this gate. I'll close it behind you. The Hashashin are all over the other side. Be on your own. May the Almighty guide you on your way. Don't leave us here. We need your help. Not again. Please, oh noble ones. We can't get to the western gate. And what's stopping you? The Hashishin! The road to the gate is swarming with them. We'll never get to our women and children alive. They won't last long without us. We've done more than enough already, Kellyan. We should go straight to the Citadel. This will only slow us down. Are you suggesting we look the other way? We're not exactly an army, you know. No, but we are all the help they'll get. They let our families go, but kept us. We know nothing about no treasure, sire. We owe both of you our lives, and the lives of our children. I'd gladly relieve you from this debt. Just point us towards the Citadel. Go back to the square and head for the big tower. Then follow the wooden scaffolding to reach the Citadel Gate. But beware, the Hashashin often gather there. For some reason, the Citadel has caught their interest. Look at all the coin. Have you ever wondered how much gold you can carry? We are not here. For the gold, Marie. I know, I know. Couldn't help myself. It's a girl thing, you know? I am much more interested in the contents of that closed chest over there. Well, this is it. The entrance to the Citadel. Yes. Let's just hope that all the Hashishin are behind us now. Somehow, I doubt it. We'll find out, won't we? My research indicated that the ruined citadel of Ascalon held an important clue, an old map, to the Cup of Christ. It was our most promising lead yet, but the Hashishin were not going to make this easy for us. Well, Kellyan, will you tell me now what we're looking for here? It all started with a text by Hugh de Payon the founder of the Templar Order. It spoke of the Grail, and hinted of other notes he left. One of them must be here, with a map to the Holy Grail. If you believe it's true, then let's go get it. The text spoke of three trials, or tests, we must face them. In the year of our Lord, 1099, we won a tough victory over the Fatimid forces. God, help us understand what we have stumbled upon, signed Godfrey of Bouillon. We shall build a citadel here to keep the map safe from falling into the wrong hands. My family shall guard this secret for eternity. Signed, Hugh de Bellin. The Mamluks are coming. Ascalon will fall. We must destroy what we value most. God help us all. Signed, Guy de Bellin. My father. Guy de Bellin is my father. Marie, you must tell me. Your father was here. He knew the secret. I don't know anything about this. It all happened before I was even born. We must go to Ibelin. Maybe we can find out what your father knew. 
the de Bellin have managed to accomplish the impossible. Their estate was an oasis of civilization and life in the middle of the desert. I could only imagine how Marie felt, knowing she was the only survivor of the de Bellin family. So this is your birthplace. It's beautiful. Never thought I would see it again. The secret of the Grail was kept here all your life. There were no secrets, only countless blissful hours. What was your childhood like? I don't know. There was this injury years ago. I survived, but I have no memory of what happened before it. I do not speak of it anymore. Well, I hope the Saracens are still around. You hope? This is still my home, and they are not welcome here. Tell him. They'll sell us all into slavery. Quiet. They're coming. Milady, thanks be to our maker. I told you the mistress will come for us. I'm so glad to see you're alive. The others are gone, taken and lost. You must flee to escape slavery. Your fate is in your own hands. Seeing, they see not, and hearing, they hear not, nor do they understand. This must be it. It starts as a Templar code, but I cannot fathom the rest. Curses! We have it, yet we don't! It must be an old code, one that I have not heard about. What shall we do now? There is one person who knows all about codes, Brother Gerard. He is the Templar librarian in La Rochelle. La Rochelle? That's on the other side of the world! We will not be able to decipher a Templar code if all we have is a pencil. Not in a lifetime. If you say so. Kellyan. Yes? Thank you for being here with me. For helping me to get home one last time. Well... No. Don't say a word. Let's get out of here. Alive if we can. You were right. The Saracens are amassing a new army. I am afraid the situation is worse than you think. This army will head to Acre. The city is doomed. Our forces there cannot withstand another siege. Losing Acre may be the end of the Knights Templar. Marie, I need you to trust me now. Oh no. We have to cut the head off the snake, Marie. It is the only way. You want to offer them a duel, right? You reckless, foolish Templar! Yes. The Saracen leader cannot lose face in front of his soldiers. I, Kellyan Darastide, Knight of the Temple, challenge your general. I challenge you to a duel to the death. Master, this is the infidel who wrought havoc in our camp at Acre. I challenge you to a duel to the death. I say it is unwise to meet this knight, my lord, our archers. Let him come, I am ready. The Almighty will guide my swords to his heart. I am Muzaffar. Remember my name. For it is the name of the man who kills you! Well, I guess this earns us the right to pass freely. Let us leave before the Saracens decide otherwise. To La Rochelle. To La Rochelle. We arrived in La Rochelle on Friday, the 13th of October. The city was home to many Templars, Brother Gerard being the most learned amongst them. If anyone could decipher the cryptic letter, it was this humble scholar. But something was amiss in La Rochelle. People were avoiding my gaze as if somehow frightened by my Templar armor. We're in La Rochelle now. Where is this friend of yours, Brother Gerard? 
He uses one of the Templar houses nearby. Wait. What is it? Something is wrong. All the Templar banners are missing. La Rochelle belongs to the French crown. What Templar banners? The Order has a strong presence in the city. Numerous Templars are stationed here. There used to be Templar banners everywhere. Now there are none. Listen, the city is too quiet. Strange. Hmm. We haven't seen a single Templar. Something's going on here. We better find out what it is. Let's ask around. Someone will know. Brother, come with me quickly. We must leave the city at once. Wait, what is happening here? We've just arrived. The king has gone mad. He ordered all Templars imprisoned. His men caught many of us off guard. The rest are hiding within the city or fleeing. I cannot believe it. The King of France is our ally. Not anymore. This Friday the 13th will be remembered. Mark my words. The King has betrayed us. Did they take Gerard, the librarian? No. I think he is still in hiding. We cannot let anything happen to him. Quickly, tell me where the Templar hideouts are located. There are four of them. The first is the most likely one. Be careful. There are guards everywhere. They mean business. Thank you, brother. We shall meet again soon. Halt, Templar! Lay down your sword and come with us. On whose orders, Captain? Upon order of the commander of the city guard. I place you under arrest. Templars answer only to our lord and the pope. As your commander is probably not one of them, I suggest you move out of our way. You don't stand a chance, Templar. Just try reaching for your sword and we'll sound the alarm. Locked again. Sir, you looking for the knights in white mantles? Have you seen any? Out with it. They left in a hurry, carrying lots of books. Do you know where they went? One of them mentioned the house on the outskirts. God bless you. Marie, we're off. There! Our little mousetraps got us another Templar! Surrender your weapons! Guards! Get your daggers ready. Wait! I shall take care of these two. Roland. Sir Roland. Your Templar clothing puts you in a very dangerous position tonight. Captain, your poor swordsmanship puts you in an even more dangerous position now. You too, come with me. Roland, my friend, I'm so happy to see you. We thought you were dead. I'm worse off than dead. I've become a traitor. But more on that later. Marie can stay here, but you must leave the city. That cannot be true, Roland. What happened? Tell me. Long story, brother. You must leave La Rochelle at once. We need to find Gerard, at all costs. Listen, then. Gerard was captured and is being held in that house over there. Grab him and meet me outside the gates in one hour. You have all the answers, then. Go, now, be quick, and be quiet. Gerard, are you all right? Kellyan, I nearly lost hope. I thought they caught all of us. I have a parchment written in code. Can you decipher it for me? Show me. Can you read it? Let me take a look. Hmm. The Adbash cipher. Good. What does it say? The parchment speaks of a temple in Outremer. I need more time to grasp the full text. Marie, please stay with him. You'll be safe here. I must see Roland. Lots of questions need answers. I'll find a ship to take us to Outremer. We will rendezvous in the swamps, south of La Rochelle. Now go! The Templar Order was declared apostate. My brothers were chased, hunted like animals, by the Inquisition and the soldiers of Philip, the French king. 
There was not going to be a fair trial for any of us, only torture, forced confessions, and undignified death on the pyre. With Roland at my side once again, I was confident that we could slip right through their trap. What happened to you, Roland? We thought you were dead, lost to us. I am lost, Galeon. Lost both to you and the Order. You'd better accept the fact. I will be the judge of that, friend. How did you survive the dungeons of the Inquisition? They captured me, tortured me, hours, days, months. It's all a haze now. I can't even remember it all. Isaiah, that sadistic villain, had the time of his life with me in his power. I thought my brothers would come and rescue me. In the end, I was left alone. Then she came. She brought an end to my suffering. She saved me. She was... benevolent. I pledged my allegiance to her. I still hear her voice guiding me. Why did you keep us in the dark? I had nothing to say to the Order. The old Roland is dead. Don't get me wrong, Kellyan. I still value your friendship above all else. Yet I did not have the strength to see you again. For I was weak. Failed you. Failed the Order. Failed the Grand Master. Failed my oath. To hell with them all with their high ideals and plans. Then she ordered the dismantling of the Knights Templar. I didn't know whether I was angry or happy, bitter or vengeful. She knew I would obey her order. And I obeyed. Yet I'll swear on my soul that is bound for hell that I will not let them get you or Marie. Roland, I saw torture devices in the Inquisition cellar. The world certainly looks different when you're strapped to one of them. No man can stand that. In the end, anyone would break. For the love of God, feel no shame in what you've done. Who is she? Will you tell me? Lady Isabel. The right hand to King Philip of France. Who else? One more thing, Killian. She knows what you are after. She knows about the Grail. I see. Though King Philip will answer for his attack on the Templars in La Rochelle. In the end, the Order will have him hanged. Don't you know? It's not just in La Rochelle. It's not just King Philip. The King used his puppet, the Pope, the Knights Templar are now proclaimed heretics in all Christendom. They are being attacked everywhere. The Order is lost. No, it is not. The Grand Master will not give up so easily. The Order will not die. Not if I find the Grail. We will restore justice with it. Will you join me now? No, friend. I cannot. I will only help you to meet up with Marie. By the way, this forest has been turned into a trap for Templars. We'll enjoy the journey. Hmm. Sounds like old times already. Thank you. You are the answer to my prayers. Brother Abdul Yasu, we meet in hard times once again. Kelly and Aristide. And you save us again. I doubt you could turn the tide as you did in the battle for Acre. You'd better flee this place. It's hell on earth. I will. However, our order, our dream, is lost. There is still hope. I believe I can save the order. I pray you are right. Beware the commander of this camp. He killed lots of our brothers. This looks like the end of the forest. Yes. See? No problem at all getting out of it. I wager not many Templars escaped. I fear for the Order's survival, Roland. The Order survives as long as you survive. Now, let's find Marie and your Grail. Right. The Grail might still turn the tables in our favor. Being the only one of us not obviously associated with the Templars, Marie was supposed to secure our escape. 
She has proven herself to be more than resourceful, and I was confident that she was going to find a ship and wait for us at the rendezvous as she promised. Hoping to avoid our enemies, we chose our path across a swampy, sparsely populated region. Now we have to rendezvous with Marie. She is supposed to secure a ship and wait for us at the other end of these swamps. Swamps, you say? That explains the smell. What goes on here? Who are these soldiers? That Baron de Chivney is behind all this, isn't he? Yes, my lord. The soldiers are his brutes. He's no better himself, except for his noble birth. We defied him justly, and King Philip protected us for a time. Now the Baron's given his support to the King against the Templars. In return, the King lifted his protection. Then the soldiers came. It's payback time, they said. They've already plundered the fisherman's village. Well, you can see the gallows. What does the Baron want of you? He believes there is a treasure hidden in the swamp. It's just a legend. Poor wretches. Disgusting. Surrender your arms, Templars. I promise you a fair trial. I am Baron de Chivney, and I act on behalf of King Philip. Your actions speak for themselves. We saw your gallows. You're all mine. Have you got my thingy? What did you say? I had a thingy, but I lost it. This duffer is mad. Mad beyond any help. Find my thingy. It was shiny. So very, very shiny. I suppose we could look for it. Now you've gone mad as well. We've got to go. Hey, is this your thingy? Oh, my thingy. Shiny thingy. Mine. <sighs> Can we go now? Yes, go. Go! Kick the chest over there. I'll have something for you. Thank you. Go! Leave my swamp! You're early. Well, that is one warm welcome. What do you mean by early? The ship isn't here yet. Great. There's probably an entire French army on our trail. We must hold the dock, then, until this ship arrives. We'd better get ready. The enemy won't be long. I hope the ship won't be long, either. Get ready. They're coming. Well, you can leave now. Aren't you coming with us? No. This is where we part ways, friend. I have to stay here. But they're hunting down every Templar. They'll get you. I can survive. I've lived through a lot. Good luck with your quest, Kellyan. I hope we meet again, brother. We will. Marie, what's written on the parchment? Did Gerard translate it? He did. And it, it changes everything. I, I, I'd better read it. We, the Nine Knights Templar, swear on the Bible to protect the Holy Grail. We shall build a temple for it, far from envious eyes, deep in the desert. One of us will guard it for ten years, then the guard will change, and so on for eternity. It is signed by the nine founders of the Templar Order. Hugh de Payen's name is among them. The rest is a description of the temple location. How could that be? The Order actually found the Grail. Why did they keep it secret? Is it lost? There is only one way to know. We're going to the Temple of the Nine. Marie and I traveled to the Orient, seeking the mysterious Temple of the Nine. Our journey across the desert was uneventful until we stopped at a small settlement to buy supplies. At last, a settlement, and dying of thirst after those days in the desert. We will find water in this town. 
That might not be so easy. The well is dry. Let us ask around. The locals will know where to find some water. Travelers, life isn't fair. I'm penniless. No water is bad for business. No water, you say? Do you know why this happened? It's the scorpions doing. Rotten people, I tell you. They cut off the water supplies. Now they control the only well in town. We can't go to that well. The scorpions kill everyone who goes near it. Be it soldier, civilian, everyone. Someone must find us a way to get to the well. Some of your people, I guess. We will protect their lives. I pledge my word. Well, the world is falling apart, the Templars are being burnt at the stake, and we're going to battle a street gang. We have to. Without water, we'll never be able to reach the temple in the desert. They are coming! To arms! The Scorpions are storming the town square! Oh, oh, thank you for saving me! Oh, the Scorpions stole all my goods! You'd better run, trader. This is no place for you now. Please, find my goods! I mean, my wife will kill me if I come home empty-handed! And she's scarier than the Scorpions! Well, that was about it. Who was their leader, I wonder? I doubt we will ever know. The gang has been broken, though. And we have enough water. Hmm, I could take a bath. We must continue our journey. We have no time to lose. What? No bath? The Grail is important. We have to go. You've never traveled with a girl before, have you? Well... Knew it. I'm still taking a bath, you know. European marauders have made camp on the way to the summit of the Temple of the Nine. Was this purely by chance? Had they no idea how close they were to the greatest treasure in this sinful world? There was no other way. We had to sneak or fight our way through them in order to reach our goal. Marie, the secret temple should be behind that ridge. Wait, who are those people? An armed band of some sort. They look Christian. They must be either mercenaries or marauders. We have no allies nearby. I would avoid them. We have no choice. We'll pass right by their camp. There. We're alone at last. What do you suggest we do? I suggest we go and get the Grail, Kellyan, and save your world. What else? The Temple of the Nine was magnificent, foreboding, and eerily familiar. The Nine were knights from ancient times, the founders of the Templar Order. Why did they keep it a secret? We ventured forth, hoping to find the answers to those questions, and the Grail itself. This is it, Marie. The truth awaits us at the end of this ancient temple. I hope you're right and this is not another dead end. Oh, you have come, Hugh. Who are you? Where is the Grail? Yes. Where is the Grail? Do you have it, Hugh? This man is crazy. He thinks you are Hugh de Payen. Yes, crazy. Lost. So lost. Lost for so many years. You see, your body decays. Your mind decays. It all dies. We saw a statue of the Grand Master. Grand Master? You're a Grand Master? I'm a Grand Master. Him, you, me. We're all grandmasters! But no! No! See what you have done! No Grail! We're lost! All lost! Do you get the gist of any of this? I've... I've withered away here for years. So many years. Not a soul! The Grail gives life! 
Did you bring it? I do not have the Grail. Was it here? Lies. More lies. Corrupt we are. Father, forgive me. You! I die here. And you... All die... Now. Wait. Tell me of the Grail. Of the Grand Master. Of the Templars. He doesn't have any answers for us. Not anymore. The Grand Master must have them. We must pay him a visit. Only the Grand Master had the answers I sought. How can the Templar Order have the Grail without him knowing? I was holding off any judgment until we spoke. Laden with questions upon questions, we set off towards a secret Templar hideout in southern France. France is no longer a safe place for a Templar. They'll hunt us down. There is a secret hideout in the mountains, known only to members of the Order. If anyone survived, they will be there. I must speak with the Grand Master. He should know. There are so many questions, I know. Let's just be careful. The French have blocked the road to the outpost. There used to be an abandoned farm nearby. If we start a fire there, it will create a diversion. We have no reports from the rest of our brethren, Grandmaster. We must presume them either dead or in the hands of the Inquisition. These are grave times for our order. The very people we gave our blood for have turned against us. Our former allies have become our greatest enemies. The Holy Inquisition, the French King. They hunt us down like animals. They burn us alive like heretics. Fear not, brother, for there is hope. We shall endure this day and time, this ordeal of faith. Grand Master, I'm glad to find you here. We must speak. Brother Kellyan, you bring us hope. Do you have it? All I have are questions. I saw the Temple of the Nine and your statue. Come. There is a lot to tell you. I feel you're ready for this tale. There were nine of us when we started the Order to help the pilgrims in the Holy Lands. We took refuge on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, hence the name Templar Knights. We found a chalice, the very cup that Jesus drank from at the Last Supper. We found the Holy Grail. For nearly two centuries we drank its power. We kept it in a temple in the desert. You've been there already. It was our secret, our source of life. We changed our names, but our bodies and minds were young. How many glorious victories we won. How much prosperity we brought. Every man in the world knows of the Knights Templar. But the devil would not let us be. Soon, we sensed his presence among us, and Hugh de Payen hid the Grail in fear that it would be stolen. On his return, he was attacked and fell from the Tower of Acre. The Grail was lost. Without its power, we grow weaker every day. Without its power, we're lost. This is why you have to find the Grail and bring back the glory of our order. But how can I do that? Why me? Because, my friend, you are him. You are Hugh de Payon, the first Templar. When you fell from the tower, you survived. You still had the power of the Grail in you. You had lost your memory, but you're still the same person. Why haven't you told me of this? Why have me wander the world to find out? Would you have believed me if I did? Do you believe me now, Hugh? We need the Grail more than ever. Think. Where would you hide it? Think. Home in Montségur. Stop. Don't tell him. Hugh de Payen hid the Grail from him as well. Do you remember what he wrote? The sins we committed over the centuries haunt us. What sins does he speak of? What did you do? 
Enough. The two of you have outlived your usefulness. Guards! Betrayed by your own order, hunted by your fellow knights. We came here for answers, and we found them. Kellyan, or Hugh, what shall we do now? Kellyan. My name is Kellyan Daristeed. Whatever I did in the past, I have the chance to mend it now. We don't get many chances like that. We shall go to Montségur, and I hope we get there before the Grand Master does. The Grand Master declared me a traitor, an enemy to the surviving Templars. The man used me, and I led him to the Grail. I could not let him have it. I had to get to it before him. I travelled to the small village of Montségur. The peasants living there were good people, leading simple lives. They didn't deserve what happened. So, this is your castle? Something is not right. The walls are damaged, and I can see smoke. A battle? Those are peaceful lands. Who would attack here? I seem to have no shortage of enemies these days. We have to travel through the village of Montségur to reach the castle. We will ask the villagers what happened. Bless you, my lord. You saved my life. The Inquisition? What happened here? They arrived two days ago with a whole army of French soldiers, accusing us of heresy, Catharism, and more. The mayor tried to reason with them, said the Cathars were rooted out of these lands long ago. The one-eyed man hanged him on the village square, said this is the fate that awaits us all. One-eyed man? Do you think that's Inquisitor Isaiah? Cruelty, executions, and accusations of heresy. Sounds like him. Good. I have a score to settle with that creep. My lord, you saved me, but there are others in the fields. Please help them. Of course. I will not abandon my people. Isaiah, we meet again. This time you'll pay for your crimes. Kill them. Both of them. I'll summon reinforcements. Stay and face us, coward. You will die, heretics. Seems like you cannot run anymore, Isaiah. Make your peace with the Lord. And with the devil, because we are going to send you straight to hell. Good. They have not discovered the secret passage. What was that? Those look like... Templar forces! The Grand Master. He is coming to claim the Grail. So, the surviving Templars are laying siege, the Inquisition and the French soldiers are inside, and we're supposed to infiltrate the castle, find the Grail hidden inside, and escape with our lives! We must. Otherwise it will fall into the hands of either the Grand Master or Brother Lorenzo. Good point. Upon rushing into the castle courtyard via the secret passage, I found more dead bodies left to rot in the open. The stench was unbearable. For two days, the Inquisition had reigned here freely. No defenders survived. Looks like the defenders fought to the last man. So many lives lost. The Inquisition and the French King have a lot to answer for. Do you think they've already found the Grail? I hope not. If they have, all is lost. The side entrance to the castle keep is nearby. Follow me. There, the bulk of the Inquisition forces. I have a crazy idea. We could open the courtyard gate and let the Templars inside. Fight fire with fire. Both forces will be too busy fighting to notice us. The controls for the gate mechanism are located on top of the wall. So, Brother Kellyan, or should I say the Payon? This time, as enemies, you ordered the Templars to attack us. How dare you speak of truth? 
You were the one to break the Pact of the Nine. You were the one who hid the Grail from us. That was in another life. But now I know why I did it. The Order needs the Grail to survive. You saw the hopeless battle in the Holdings. The horrors bred by the Inquisition. The treachery of King Philip. Tell me, who would stand against these monsters when we are gone? We don't have to be enemies, my old friend. Stand by my side, help me find the Grail. And together, we will find the wisdom not to repeat the mistakes of the past. Don't listen to him, Kellyan. He betrayed us once, he'll do it again. I have already seen him for what he is, Marie. He is no different from the Inquisitor Lorenzo. Lusting for the power to change the world as he deems fit, at all costs, either perverting or destroying everything that stands in his way. Poisoned words, old friend. But I can see it in your eyes. You are afraid, just as you once were. Afraid to use the gift the Lord himself granted us. That is why you are not worthy of the trail, nor the future I will bring. I see there is only one way this can end. Raise your sword, Grand Master. You bested me. Remember what I said. God gave us the Grail to use it, to mend what is wrong with the world. If you are too cowardly to release its power, others will do so. Will you at least find the courage to strike the final blow against the Kellyan? Yes, finish that snake. I will not kill him, Marie. In the end, he is just a misguided old man who betrayed everything he once believed in. Yet the Savior taught us to forgive. And I forgive you, Grandmaster. I will not take away your last chance of redemption. Are you sure that's a wise move? Perhaps not, but it is the right thing to do. The castle of Montségur was not my home anymore. It had been desecrated, looted, turned into a public grave. Inquisitors and French soldiers were tearing it apart, and I had no doubt what they were looking for. We've made it to the keep. What now? Quiet. I hear something. Orders from Inquisitor Lorenzo. Spread out. Look for hidden objects and secret passages. Slay any heretic that refuses to cooperate. So, Lorenzo is already here, looking for witches to burn at the stake. He is after something much more important. We have to find the Grail before he does. Where do we start? Two keys are needed to open the sanctuary. Both are hidden in the keep. Ah, we will stop the wayward them. girl. You will die here Templar. and now, heretics. Lorenzo, you will not claim the power of the Grail. Power? What foolishness. I am here for one thing, and one thing only. To destroy the wicked chalice. Destroy the Grail? Why would you do such a thing? Because I know the one thing you apparently forgot. The Grail is not a miraculous cure-all for the world's illnesses, nor is it God's greatest gift to us. It is the devil's work. What? Think about it, Templar. What good ever came from the Grail? All it brought to the world is sin and suffering. The Nine were corrupted, and only you found the resolve to hide it long ago. Until quite recently, you were used and betrayed by the people whom you trusted most, just so you could lead them to it. You know about the Nine? About me? I know about a great many things. Yeah, people do tend to talk around him, after they're done screaming. Silence, girl. My point, Templar, is that I want to finish what you started. I intend to destroy the Grail, so that it is lost forever. Mortals are not meant to play gods. What if I hid the Grail because humanity was not ready yet? What if it really is a divine gift, not the devil's temptation you describe? Do you truly believe that? 
Do you think we are now wiser than we were 200 years ago? Or that so much evil may come from the Divine? The Grail will be destroyed, and all this will be over soon enough. Let me offer you a deal, Templar. Walk away now. Take the girl with you. You will not be bothered. Not now, nor ever. No, Lorenzo. I do not know who gave us the Grail. God or the Devil. And I do not know what has to be done with it. Yet. But I do know one thing. You, of all people, are not worthy to choose our fate. Pity that Lorenzo got away. Don't worry. We will deal with him after we find the Grail. Do you think he was right? About the Grail, I mean. About how mortals were never meant to wield such power. I was unable to answer this question before, and I cannot answer it now. You say we are close to the Grail. What will you do with it when we find it? I pray that I will have my answer by then. This time, I am sure, the Grail is here, in this sanctuary. As Hugh de Payen, I was the one who hid it. As Kellyan d'Arastide, I am going to be the one who finds it once again. Whatever pitfalls, whatever challenges remain, I knew we would not fail. What do we do now? The chamber, those statues, I remember them. We are very close to the Grail. The pedestals of those statues are special braziers. When all eight braziers are lit, the way to the Grail will be open. At last, after all this time, we have found the Cup of Christ. Ironically, it was hidden by you a long time ago. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us. Silence, traitor! You have spoken the Lord's name in vain for the last time! Grand Master. I told you not to spare him, Kellyan. He is mad beyond redemption. Spare me! I let you win our little fight, Kellyan, so you can lead us to the Grail. So you can solve all puzzles, trigger all traps on our way. You are always so easy to manipulate, old friend. Sadly. Now you have served your purpose, and you will have to die. You'll have to kill both of us, old man. The three of us. Ah, the other traitor. Tell me, Roland, how much did the beautiful Lady Isabel pay you to sell your Templar brothers? Or did she offer other incentives? It is you that betrayed us long ago, Grand Master. With your obsession, with your madness, you doomed the Order decades before the French King attacked us. Enough talk. I shall enjoy this battle. Thank you, friends, for standing beside me to the very end. But this is not your fight. Too much innocent blood has been spilled already. Grand Master, I challenge you to single combat. I accept your challenge. Only one of the Nine will walk away. Only he will decide the fate of the Grail, and thus of the world. Prepare to die, old friend. Good fight, Kelly. Now, take the Grail. You earned it. I am certain that you have the guts and wisdom to use it properly, for the good of all. No, Kellyan. Lorenzo was a madman, but he was right about one thing. This cup must be destroyed. Humanity must find its own path instead of relying on the mystic powers of an ancient artifact. Destroyed? That means leaving the fate of the world to the likes of King Philip and the Inquisition. We must use the Grail to rebuild, to fix what is wrong. And how does that make us any different from your Grand Master? I don't know what God's plan is, but I doubt he wanted us slaves to whomever holds the Grail. The Grail is just a means to an end. 
If you destroy it, you will deny us the opportunity to use it forever. We always look for an easy route. We seek a magical object that will make us great. We are looking in the wrong place. For we have the greatness within us. We are born with that potential. Men have no use for the Grail. So it was, and so it shall be. In the year 1312, Pope Clement V officially disbanded the Order of the Knights Templar. Two years later, Jacques de Molay, the last Grand Master, was burnt alive at the stake in Paris. Since then, the Order has disappeared completely. The Knights Templar have become a legend, though there are still many who claim to be their descendants. Today, we live our lives as we choose, free to pursue our dreams, inspired by those who came before us.